All right, so the Home Depot girl dropped a two minute clip explaining life after going viral. But before we get into that, I gotta give you guys a little bit of context, okay? Cause she's, uh, needs to fill in a couple gaps of why she is at this point in her life. Now, of course, if you don't know who Home Depot girl is, she went viral for posting herself being really attractive in her Home Depot outfit, which led to Daily Loud posting her and saying that she should make an OnlyFans or implying something like that. To which she explained that I will never make an OnlyFans. So of course she got a lot of hate for that because sex workers looked at it as a jab. Like, hey, what is wrong with making an OnlyFans? There's nothing wrong with OnlyFans. So of course she pissed off that crowd. But also since going viral, she also pissed off people by, um, posting the dms of her and shaq now there was nothing really there to really expose but the fact was shaq messaged you you could have used that as an opportunity to build a relationship with them but you chose clout by posting a conversation now she claims that she only did it because she wanted um to show people that you can work a nine to five and still get the attention of i guess high value people or, or celebrities but regardless since going viral people have docs or basically leaked her location of where she has worked which has led to her having to leave that job and she is now navigating life and trying to contemplate on if she if she if she should even move from the state she is in because basically her whole life has just been revealed to the whole world she says that she uh is going to trust god and just basically just try to navigate it day by day but here's the clip and well you guys let me know what you think down below i just wanted to come on here as y'all probably know me as the Home Depot girl, the girl who went viral, and just talk about how God is really testing my life right now and just testing my faith and trying to keep my patience in Him and just trust that there's a bigger thing coming out of all this. Since I blew up on the internet, I have had so much backlash, good and bad. Like, it's been a lot of good, but you know, you also have that percentage of bad. Like, everybody on Twitter hates me for what? I don't know. Like, I literally don't know, just because I stood up for myself, and that's fine. Um, and then Instagram's really cool. And then, you know, other situations that have happened throughout this whole process that have just kind of been crazy. But I literally had to kind of quit my job in this process because of how much I grew and how many people actually seen this. And people were illegally doxing my address and also figuring out where I worked because, you know, I did have my school in my bio, also my location on Twitter and Home Depot. So if you put math together, like people start figuring stuff out. So now I'm going to have to probably move and just, you know, kind of relocate and start fresh. And I just feel like I just am grateful to God because this opportunity gives me a chance to start over. I also gained a platform and that means a lot to me because I work really hard making, you know, my faith, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content. So this kind of helps me go towards that direction. But it's also scary because I actually haven't received like any type of brand deals or anything like that a lot of people think that like my net worth is going to flip now because of fame um that's not how it works it just kind of it's unmotivating but i have faith that god is gonna make all of this work out in my favor so yes yeah, some doors had to close but i also know god is going to make a lot of doors open in my favor so i'm just taking it with the winds taking the punches you know smiling through all this praying and just knowing that god has me know in due time when the answers and what is for me needs to be revealed it'll be revealed i know god is